Hey guys, I am Nitej and in this video, I will be guiding you through the process of enhancing your React website's social media presence. This tutorial is all about mastering SEO in React applications, focusing on custom hooks for managing SEO metadata, including meta and open graph tags. So we are going to tackle a common challenge faced by the React developers which is effectively managing on-page search engine optimization in a single page application. So as SPAs dynamically update content without reloading the entire page, the traditional methods of SEO management often fall short. This can lead to poor visibility on search engines and social media platforms, which is a significant problem for any website looking to increase its reach and user engagement. So how do we ensure that each page in our React application has its own set of SEO tags, including title, description, and any open graph tags, which are correctly updated and reflected on social media platforms? Well, we will explore this problem in this video and we'll try to provide a practical solution. Now, this is the project which is already created with two page routing already set up. Now you can see in the inspect elements for this page one, the meta tag values are the ones which are set in the default index.html, which is there in the public folder. Similarly for page two as well, the meta tags are similar to page one because we are not providing any custom on page SEO values for each page or routing component. So this is the react project with the routing setup for both page one and page two. Now to implement the custom on page SEO for each page, the first thing that we need to do is in the SRC folder, let's create a new folder with the name hooks. Sorry. Um, let's add an S as well. So hooks and then new folder use page SEO, which is going to be the name of our hook. Now create a new file over here with the name index.js. Now this hook can be used to set the different meta and OG tag values. So for that, I will first create a hook function. So const use page SEO, use page SEO equals to an arrow function. So this is going to accept a bunch of arguments for the meta and OG tags. So the first one is going to be the title and then description. Let's also have keywords with the default value of an empty array. Now let's add the OG or open graph title and then OG description, OG description. All the open graph tags are used by the social media websites whenever any page is shared on websites like Facebook or Twitter, they extract the pages information from these OG tags. So let's use all of these values for the meta and OG tags. And now in our hooks code, we need to know when any of these attribute or prop values change, then we can use an effect hook to run the code to set the meta tag values. So let's use the use effect hook for that. So use effect and then let's create a function and the dependency array is going to have all of these values. Let's remove the default value for the keywords. Now inside this effect function, first I am going to simply set the document dot title with the title which is provided in the prop and to set all of these individual meta and OG tags, instead of adding them or setting them one by one, we can just create a common function which we will use. So I am going to create a new function with the name set meta tag. And this is going to accept the argument for the, for the attribute name and okay, hold on equals to attribute name and then the attribute value and also the content value. So attribute key and then content, right? So if we have content 
a valid value which is not null or undefined then we can first try to search for the meta element if it is already added if it is not added then we will first have to add it so document dot query document dot query selector and then let's search using the attribute query selector so meta is the element name and for the attribute which we want to search is the attr the value is going to be the key so key and next let's check if the element is not available if it's not then we have to add it so element is going to be document dot create um, create element the tag name is meta and then element dot set set attribute so we have to set the um, the attribute attr with the value of key so attr and then key and then finally let's append this element to the documents head so um, document dot head dot append child provide the element as an argument okay so if the element was not available then we are going to add it but if it is available then we can simply set the elements content attribute with the content value so element dot set attribute the name of the attribute is content and the value is content right now we can use this common seo uh, sorry set meta tag function in our effect hook so let's do that um, one by one for all the meta tags so first we are going to set the value for the uh, for the description so for description the attribute value is going to be name the attribute key is going to be description and then the content is going to be description similarly for uh, hold on for keywords the name is going to be keywords the value or the content is going to be keywords now for og or open graph tags we have to use a different attribute value which is going to be property and then the um, the attribute value is going to be og title for the open graph title and again the content is going to be og title but if it is not available then we can always fall back to the documents title so it is always a good idea to always provide the og title even if it is not provided as a prop for this hook now for the og description we can use the description value and then instead of og title let's use og description and fall back to the page description so page description and then um, for okay hold on yep for the image let's write image over here and then we don't have a fallback for the image so let's just write og image and finally for url use og url if it is not available then let's fall back to the current url which is the window dot location dot href right now if you want to do any kind of cleanup when the um, when the page is unloading then you can do that in this effect hook so right now i don't see the need to do that but if you want then you just have to return a function to do any kind of clean up here now the last thing that we need to do for our hook is to export it so export default use page seo so now open up the page one root component and over here i am just going to import the use page seo hook now inside our page one component we can simply call the um, the use page seo hook and we can provide all the different 
prop values for the meta and og tags so let's provide the value for title and we just want to see the specific page values for all these items so um, my page one title now similarly let's provide the um the description so let's just call it as page one description and we can also provide the keywords so keywords is going to be an array of values so keyword one keyword two and now it's time to provide the open graph values so og title is going to be let's set the value as uh, hold on page one og title so let's just copy for everything else for description for description page one og i mean these are not meaningful values but just for the sake of testing to identify if we are seeing different values for each page component i am just going to add these kinds of values now for og image um what to provide for og image okay i'm just going to provide a, um, a default i don't know example dot com and then image dot jpg something like that for og url i am going to provide the url as again http and then example.com slash page one and then we don't need this last one okay let's save it now let's see if our hook is working correctly or not open up the browser and it says module build failed invalid parenthesized okay i get what it's saying we have to you know use the arrow um, symbol over here so yep let's do that yep it's here set meta tag and then let's save it okay now this is page two but we have added the hook on page one so i'm just going to open up page one now let's open up head if we are seeing everything that we have added so okay this is the meta tag for keywords keyword one keyword two og title is page one og title og description image url now where is the description meta description is here the title is my page one title but for description we are not seeing the content value that we have provided to our hook so let's see what's wrong with our hook so in the page one component i have not written the name of description prop correctly so description and there is one more um, copy paste error which i have found in our hook so i have pasted the og description two times so let's remove one of them and now let's check again okay so now the description is page one description with uh, the rest of the values also coming in as we provided them now let's use this hook on um, page two as well so let's do that so on page two again i am going to import the use page seo hook and let's just copy the values from page one but replace page one with page two so that we can see the differences page two okay now in the browser i am going to open up page two so the description is page two description title is my page two title keywords open graph title is page two og title so as you can see over here the hook is working um, flawlessly for both of these pages we are able to provide the page seo metadata information specific to the pages themselves so i hope that you have found the information valuable and are now equipped to enhance your react applications with effective seo management if you enjoyed this tutorial then please consider subscribing to stay updated with more content like this your support means a lot and helps me bring more tutorials your way. This is Nitij signing off. Happy coding.